um, proximity cable that also controls the ear speaker. Okay, so that's that. Now our camera is uh, flipped up just a bit. I want to go ahead and push that back down into its little compartment. Take our LCD and we're going to peel back these cables and get that third cable installed first. You want to be real, real gentle doing this. Make sure that you line it up correctly and then press it directly over that connector and you'll feel it, you know, tighten up when it, when it hits its spot. Okay, follow it by the next one, natural, that falls down. And then the last one here. There we go. Now this little um, metal shield, it does have a couple little sharp grooves here and we have cables over here so we want to be careful that we don't um, pinch any cables or whatnot. but we just want to line it up over the, the holes. So we thread these screws nice and easy. It's so nice that um, you don't have to take everything out to replace the LCD on this iPhone 5 like the iPhone 4. So definitely save some time. I'm just being careful here because I don't want to rip any cables. Okay, that's still not lined up. There we go, that's what we want right there. Okay. Get our Phillips screwdriver. Some of these screws are, these are the only three screws in this that have been proven difficult with a good magnet, magnetizing uh, ability. So, let's see if I can help it along here. This kind of stuff happens too though where you just got to be patient and you'll get it. Here we go. I'm making sure that I hold uh, open the LCD assembly so it doesn't just uh, fold all the way back and potentially uh, rip those cables. Let's see. Let's go ahead and just set it up there on the frame and slide it over. Let's see if third time's the charm here. That's good. Very important. Um, I just uh, taught myself there while uh, pointing something out to you guys. When I flipped it over, a little piece of glass came out from the broken one before. So you'd want to make sure that you have a clean surface area before you put the new assembly down. So I'm really glad that happens just so we do a, a good job here. Oh my goodness. There we go. See, patience pays off. Now, important, we want to go ahead and plant the top, make sure we get nice and flush against the seam at the top. And then we're just going to slowly fold it down into place and make sure that it, there's a little bit of resistance, not much, but see, and it just kind of popped and clicked in there. 